Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're so well. I'm sending you so much love and so much light. I, um, you know, I've talked to you guys a lot about this idea of living a fit life with fit consciousness. And this is such a huge part of my life and the reason I do what I do because I really believe in the power of having a fit consciousness and living a fit life. And a lot of you know that I'm moving to Australia and it's been a really huge um, transitional period for me and lots of letting go, lots of having to just let go of old ideas and limited beliefs and, and limited ways of thinking, you know, all those old stories we tell ourselves that we made up so long ago that no longer serve us anymore. And that's what this journey for me has been about. It's been about letting go of those stories, you know, every time you hear yourself saying, you know, I can't do this or that, or, you know, I don't have enough energy for this or that, or I won't be able to make it all the way, I won't be able to go the distance, that's old, that's an old story and it's not true. And for me, you know, that's part of living a fit life and having a fit consciousness is having the awareness that when those things come up in your mind, that they are not true and that the reason why they're coming up is because it's time to make up a new story and it's time to make up a story that serves you, that serves your optimal health and well-being, that serves your purpose and your path and that supports you shining your light as bright as it goes in the world because everyone needs for you to do that. Your light, whether you shine your light or don't shine your light, affects all of us. and. Um, I know for me, I have really taken on that responsibility to step into my power and step into my light and to really do what I can to share what it is that I'm good at with the world. And so, you know, um, for me, you know, living a fit life and having fit consciousness, that comes from exercising and, 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 and deciding that you want to feel good in your life and so therefore the choices that you make are fall into alignment with wanting to feel good, with wanting to have a fit consciousness, with wanting to live a fit life. And there are many different ways that we can live a fit life but the ones that are really basic are eating foods that support your, your fit life doing things that support a fit life and that is anything from exercising to getting good rest to taking time out when you need it to doing the things that you love you know I've been so busy that I have not been able to film and I haven't been writing and my heart started feeling really sad today and I couldn't figure out why and you know it could be that I'm selling all my stuff and I'm getting rid of these things that have been a part of my life for so long but actually what it was was that I wasn't expressing myself and I wasn't you know doing what I love to do and and I wasn't sharing my gifts with the world I wasn't writing I haven't been writing I haven't been filming um, you know I, I am sharing my gifts in, in the very best way that I can on a daily basis but I got right on into my room and just set up this camera because it's so important for us to do the things that make our heart happy and to eat the foods that make us think well and give us energy and support um, a beautiful day every single day. And it's so important that we take the actions that support a healthy body, a strong body, and um, you know something that's going to contribute to having beautiful relationships and making really smart, healthy choices for you that affect not only you and your life, but the people that you love and, and people that you don't even realize you affect by the way you live your life. So I just wanted to share with you my gratitude, my just humble gratitude for, for exercise and for, for you know, um, whole, organic, natural foods that come from the earth, these things that give me the ability, the capability to live a fit life with fit consciousness, which also provides for me the strength and the courage and the passion and the ability to go the distance and follow through with my dreams and to step into new places and to step out of my comfort zone and to bust down the walls within me that keep me stuck in limited thinking and lack in old stories that no longer serve my life. So 
that's really just, that's it for tonight, you know, just how can you live a fit life today and tomorrow? What decision can you make that will support fit consciousness, fit living, that will give you the ability to have more strength, more courage, uh, experience more love, more love of yourself, more respect of yourself, an esteemable life, and also more compassion for yourself, and more love and respect and compassion for others. That is my question for you today. How do you intend to live a fit life today with fit consciousness? So thank you so much for watching. You can contact me at erinlanahanmethod at gmail.com. And if this is YouTube, go ahead and put your comments down below. And if it's Facebook, I'd love to hear, for, um, hear from you as well. So you can also put your comments below. All right, you guys, have an awesome week. Thanks.